Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do the Iron Man challenge and if you're not aware what the Iron Man challenge is in Guild Wars 2 um, I have the rules right here um, So basically you can only wear white or fine gear. I believe that's blue You cannot transfer any of your gear items or money to this so-called other character you're going to make You're not allowed to use any traits nor skills which would be seven eight nine zero by default uh, for me however i have that as alt one two three four five you cannot craft either another thing is you cannot use any food buffs potions or boosters of any kind so this means i cannot spend any laurels to get experience boosters i cannot go to my bank to get experience boosters and most importantly you are not allowed to have anyone help you however however i was i'm assuming this is not applied to random people you know as you're questing or anything to just be there and help you can't what are you gonna tell them don't help me i mean that that, that itself sounds pretty dickish uh but anyways so basically you cannot you cannot be invited to a party and you cannot ask your friends to help you kill stuff that may be hard. This is a challenge after all. You cannot do any dungeons, fractals, edge of the myth, edge of the mist, etc. However, there is, I believe, there is a hard mode where you could do War of the World and actually join the Zerg, but that itself, I believe, would be impossible. I don't know. Maybe someone finalized the rules on that. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log in to my main character, my main dragon hunter. And I'm going to go ahead and put all my gold into my personal guild bank. Now the main rule of Iron Man challenge is if I die once, I have no choice but to start all over. Meaning, I have to delete the character and just work my way up again. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and make a human. Uh, let's, let's choose a male. And I'm going to be an elementalist. I've never played an elementalist. I believe this would be a good way to start. I really don't care about their looks, uh, but I will be attuned to... I'll be mostly attuned to fire for power. Uh, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm gonna name this person... Let's be... Let's do some iron... Iron Aki. Let's do that. Now this is fun! Yeah, yeah, skip. I've heard that you can't die in the first instance, but I don't feel like risking it. I believe I should have just white armor. There we go. Just go to the. We're gonna go here. Get this over with. Blah blah blah. Yeah yeah yeah. Shenanigans. And I shouldn't have any thing. I won't spend any karma. I'm going to. You know what? I think in later videos I'm going to take a snapshot of this and I'm going to say I'm going to show proof that if I used any then it will go lower. 
but if it goes higher it means I've probably just been on my other on my other um, characters just doing events or some, some shit of course by default they give me a fucking what the hell did they give me give me a dagger I wonder if it's possible to just stay in this instance forever until level 80. There's no rule against that. I think I'll go ahead and just skip this part because I'm pretty sure this will be drawn out and not like I'll be going anywhere. So. See you guys in a bit. And we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, get this other dagger. Oh, I leveled up. What do you know? This is going to be easy. I'm going to equip this other knife. It'd be great if I could put it in my other hand. I can't do that until level 6. Oh, that sucks. Uh, let's see. Wait. Which is better? 108. Let's go do that. Okay. Now we're starting. I think the best way to level up would be uh, just do map completion while uh, each map. Or rather, I'm going to go ahead and go to Divinity's Reach and I'm going to do map completion there. I mean, it's not like I can die, right? Right. Ah, DR. The bane of roleplay existence. How you create such wonderful ERPs everywhere you go. What? Don't look at me like you don't know that. Hey, go to Tarnished Coast and go to the Balsazar bar. There's a bunch of excellent role plays, but then you get those people who... well, you know. Yes, 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 whatever. Okay. Did I hear anything? There we go. And I shouldn't be repping any kill. There we go. So I'm just gonna work my way around. Uh, let's see. There shouldn't be anything. Oh, there's a point of dirt. There's a point of interest right next to me. Be great if the camera was not as close. All right, to the next waypoint. Cormier. Hey boys, I'm back. I ain't got no eyes, so I can't hit you anymore. But I'll just stand by and be an influence. Wonder if they're gonna bring Cormier back into Path of Fire. They probably will, since you know you got a rogue god going crazy and everything. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, I really don't know my way around this place, do I? It's f funny though, I hang around this area all the time for crafting and I kind of just wander around when I'm bored, but when I'm actually trying to level up and everything, I actually don't know shit. I don't know if you guys remember, but in not the season finale, but the episode before, they did say that Lissa gave, or it's possible that Lissa gave Balsazar 
a mirror to disguise himself. Now I wonder if she's working with him or maybe perhaps he stole it from her. I don't know. They never really quite explained that. Maybe they'll explain it in the expansion, but I have a feeling they'll just kind of like, you know, be like, hey, hey, he did this thing. By the way, don't, don't worry about it. I'm like, oh, okay. Just, just forget that ever happened. Don't think I'm bashing on DR for, you know, all the role players. Role playing is fun. People generally have fun with it. They do whatever. I just like to kind of poke at it. Uh, we got a total of one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so another one at this mansion. Oh, and I do collect cats. Here are all my kitties. Well, not all of them, but here's three of them. Orange tabbies. <laughs> But I also collect cats in real life. I have two kitties at home. One of them's named Jess Jesse and another one's named James. They're both nine years old. Oh, there is a hero point. I could oh maybe I could get No no shut up. Uh oh. Never mind, I have to be level ten anyways. I'm pretty sure gliding's a lot, I mean doesn't really prevents me from dying I guess I don't know well then again these rules were made before gliding was implemented so maybe that maybe that is one but I don't know I'm gonna allow gliding and if it's not, if someone otherwise says, hey, no gliding, blah, 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 I could go ahead and restart. I don't mind that. Uh, where's the bounce? Uh, is that the only POI in here? I could have sworn there was more. Huh. Oh, well. How the hell do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? I'm stuck. There we go. You know, I do wonder if when the expansion comes out, and maybe later on down the road, they're going to kind of change the way DR is. Like, I don't mean dramatically, but like, I'm going to assume we're going to kill Balazar. I don't know. Whatever. Ain't it right? It's their stories. But let's assume that they we kill Balazar. Will they still be people worshipping him? Or... Or is it going to be that scenario where if we kill a god, someone needs to replace it? No, that jazz. Okay, so we have... Okay, so after Balthazar, we're going to the crap of Elyon. You know, I'm just going to run. I'm not going to glide. Let's do this the old school way. One of those days. All right, let me use my gliding for this. Or I could just fail entirely. There we go. There we go. All right. You guys probably can hear my keyboard. I will try to fix that, but if you can't, then I have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, go to the other bar. Oh, I got a bag. All right. I haven't even finished level. I haven't finished map completion, and I already leveled up. This is a good start. Feel of me failing at a raid boss, Deimos. But that's because I usually don't die on that boss and that's what made it it's not that it's weird that I died it's just that it's the way I died like we had we had popped the CC and we were on our way I was like alright and then his CC bar came back up again I was like oh uh and then I died 
or I got teleported in front of Deimos. I panicked. I did. I'm not used to being teleported. And then, obviously, as you saw in the video, I, I died. Ah, yes. Look at all these players. This seems to be the main headquarters of people. I never knew why, but eh, whatever. Whoa. Cool. So cool. There should be one. Is there one right here? I know there isn't. I thought there was. It's a cool map though. You know what's a great thing to do before Path of Fire? Is to save up your gold. And I clearly haven't been doing that because... Because I suck at saving. But then again, I just made Astralaria a few weeks ago, so... I'm still trying to recover all that gold. Most people will say, ah, Just do Silver Waste or just do some chest farming, whatever. And I'm like, I can, but I kind of don't want to go through that again because... I was doing that for like two weeks in a row for Astralaria, and I think I got the POF. Okay. POI, sorry. And I think there's one in Queen Jenna's room. Just give me the POI. Okay, I would assume I already got it. Okay. Oh! Transmutation charge. I'll take it. Doesn't hurt to have more. Alright. Now that we got DR out of the way, my next stop will probably be in... Where are you? Queensdale. So, next time... So, in the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and do... Queensdale. Wow, I completely forgot the name of it. We're gonna go ahead and do Queensdale. And I'll see you next time.